Commander, you are a Death Knight, a champion of the grave. Today I'm going to show you how to play an Unholy Death Knight with a Necroblite playstyle. But before I do, let me explain to you what that is. The Necroblite playstyle utilizes two key talents, Unholy Blight and Necrotic Plague. The focus of this playstyle is to maximize your stacks of Necrotic Plague as quickly as possible and keep it up on the target as long as possible. You can achieve this by maintaining the following priority system. Since you have chosen the Necrotic Plague talent, your two diseases become one, Necrotic Plague. Unlike Frost Fever and Blood Plague, Necrotic Plague builds stacks as it does damage, which in turn causes it to do even more damage. So your first priority is making sure that Necrotic Plague is up on the target and it's building stacks. The main ability that you will use to apply Necrotic Plague is Unholy Blight. Not only does this ability not consume runes, or runic power, but it almost causes your Necrotic Plague to insta-jump to its maximum of 15 stacks. In the event that Necrotic Plague falls off your target and Unholy Blight is on cooldown, you can use Outbreak to apply one stack and allow it to build up from there. Outbreak does not cost any runes, but it does have a cooldown. If Outbreak and Unholy Blight are on cooldown, you can simply use Plague Strike to apply Necrotic Plague. Once you have Necrotic Plague on your target, your next priority is to extend its duration for as long as possible. Ideally, until Unholy Blight comes off cooldown, which is a minute and a half. Unlike your previous diseases, once Necrotic Plague is applied, it cannot be refreshed, only extended. You can extend the duration of Necrotic Plague by 8 seconds with Festering Strike. Spend your Blood and Frost runes on Festering Strike. If Necrotic Plague is close to coming off cooldown, you can always spend your Death runes on Festering Strike. Otherwise, spend them, along with your Unholy runes, on Scourge Strike. However, if Unholy Blight is almost off cooldown, save your runes until after you reapply Necrotic Plague with Unholy Blight. This way you'll get the most out of your runes. Follow this up by spending your runic power on Death Coil, and don't forget to cast Dark Transformation when it procs. Once your target is below 45% health, you want to start spending your Unholy Runes on Soul Reaper, and this becomes your number one priority. As for your AoE rotation, it's actually quite simple since Necrotic Plague spreads naturally. That's another one of its perks. But when Unholy Blight is used, it will spread and stack up very quickly on multiple targets, doing massive damage. If Unholy Blight is on cooldown and you need to spread the disease, you can always spend your blood runes on Blood Boil to spread the disease. And don't forget to spend an occasional Unholy Rune on Death and Decay. Otherwise, the rotation stays the same. And that's pretty much how you play the Necroblight. The key is paying attention to your Necrotic Plague stacks and duration and your Unholy Blight cooldown. But if this still seems overwhelming, I can help make things a little easier for you. But if you do this, you're not going to get the most out of the playstyle. This is not for min-maxing or for serious rating. It's something that you can fall back on while you're learning the rotation, or if you have a disability, like me. You will need a mod called Gnome Sequencer, which can be found on WoW Interface. There will be a link in the description below. So download it, unzip it, and place it in your add-ons folder. Now to make things easier, I have provided the file containing all of my macros designed for Gnome Sequencer. You can find a link to it in the description below. The file is called sequences.lua, so download it and place it in the gnome sequencer folder that you just put in your add-ons folder. If you followed all these steps correctly, you're ready to log into the game and create the macros. Now that you have gnome sequencer set up with my sequences file, you are ready to begin making macros in game. It is important that you give the macros the names that I tell you and that you do not put any text in the macro field. Just name them and place them on your action bar and Gnome Sequencer will do the rest. The first macro is Unholy In. This takes care of your entire single target rotation except for Soul Reaper. The second macro, Unholy NSR, does the exact same thing except that Soul Reaper is included. So use this one when your target is below 45% health. These macros will cast Unholy Blight whenever it's off cooldown. Runes will be spent accordingly and Runic Power will be spent on Death Coil. It'll also summon your Gargoyle, and it'll cast Dark Transformation whenever it becomes available. Plague Strike is also included, and it's offset with Outbreak. This is done so that in the event that Necrotic Plague falls off and Unholy Blight is on cooldown, it'll try to cast Outbreak or Plague Strike to reapply Necrotic Plague. 
However, it's recommended that you put Plague Strike on a separate button so that if it's not happening, you can cast Plague Strike to reapply a Necrotic Plague because this is the most important thing that you do with the rotation. There is no macro for AoE because the rotation is pretty much the same thing. Just put Death and Decay and Blood Boil on separate buttons and use them accordingly. The macro does include your Empower Rune weapon cooldown, which admittedly isn't the most effective way, but it does help out in long battles. Again, to get the most out of your Necro Blight, it is highly recommended that you play the game the normal way so that you can make intelligent choices according to the situation. However, these macros have been working pretty well for me and I've been keeping up surprisingly in most fights. That's more of a testament to how effective this playstyle actually is. So use these macros at your own discretion, but learn to play the class. And that's pretty much how I play a Necroblite. If you're interested, feel free to give it a try. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that like button, or even the favorite button. And if you found it informative, perhaps you'd like to inform your friends by sharing it with them. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see future videos on this channel. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful day, this is Kefis, until next time.